Now let's cover renal tubular acidosis. So renal tubular acidosis, or RTA, is a metabolic acidosis that's typically caused by a defect, usually genetic, in the renal tubular system's function. There's both proximal, which is when the kidney can't resorb bicarb, or distal when it can't excrete hydrogen. And there are three types. The proximal type is type 2, the distal type is type 1, and then there's type 4, which is hypoaldosteronism. It's important to note there's no type 3 for some reason. So all types of renal tubular acidosis have a normal serum anion gap, and all are hyperchloremic. Serum and potassium levels should be low in type 1, low to normal in type 2, and high in type 4. So you can think of the type number as indicating the serum potassium level. So type 1, low, it's the lowest number. Type 2, low to normal. Type 4, high. So there's no type 3, there's also no normal, right? So the distal type, which is type 1, and this is a defect that only involves the hydrogen excretion, and it's reflected by impaired ammonia genesis. So ammonium is the main anion with which the collecting duct secretes hydrogen into the urine, and patients become acidotic. Serum potassium is usually reduced, and the urine pH is elevated. And a handy way to show the decreased ammonia genesis is by calculating the urine anion gap. So urine anion gap is the sodium plus the potassium minus the chloride. And a positive urine anion gap indicates there's a defect in the ammonia genesis. So this points towards type 1 RTA. Type 1 RTA also commonly causes hypokalemia, but the mechanism isn't completely understood. And hypercalciuria, that can sometimes cause stones, but not necessarily. And this is probably from decreased citrate excretion. And citrate is a neutralizer of calcium crystallization in the kidney and bladders. So the most common causes of distal RTA or type 1 RTA are genetic, and you can sometimes get hearing loss. Autoimmune disease, so think Sjogren's syndrome, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, but these are common causes in adults. Hereditary hypercalciuria, drugs like amphotericin B and lithium, toluene, so think glue sniffing, and chronic active hepatitis. Treatment is alkali therapy, so sodium bicarb, and low doses are usually sufficient. And then you want to replace, uh, replace the potassium and address the underlying cause if you can.